So we're coming on to fitting some architrave now. So we've seen in previous videos, we laid all the engineered flooring in the kitchen all the way through to the front door here. I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks that I tend to follow to get a good, nice finish. So first of all, for architrave, we've got this little um, handy tool here, unsurprisingly from the US a long time ago, this one, called the Bench Dog Tools Trim Lock. So this basically helps you lay out your architrave. So first thing you're going to do, this helps set the reveal. So I can basically rest it here, like that, and I can mark out my 45 degree mark, like that. And then I can also rest against here, get a nice pencil line at the top, going over here on the bottom. And you can basically see now I've nicely set the point where my mitre is going to intersect. And that's about a five millimeter reveal. And you can also use this tool if you want. Um, you can hook your tape measure in if you want to be able to measure from here to the side, but I don't often use it for that. So what I would typically do next is I've got a piece already. So I'll just rest this on the floor. Now with engineered flooring, often on the edges, it can slightly kick up a bit. There's often a bit of flex in it. So I always make sure I push this nice and hard down just to compress that. And then lined up on my pencil reveal. Then just make a little mark here. And that's basically where I'm going to cut my mitre. Obviously, the mitre will go here on this side. And then I've already done the pencil line over here. So I basically do the same process here. Push it down. And then I'll go cut these two now. And I'll show you what we do next. Back from the mitre saw. Double check our pieces on their mark. Perfect. So set that to one side for now. So next is to do the header piece. So I've got a piece roughly cut to size. I've already cut the mitre on it. So very simply, and as I've already marked on the reveal, this is really the easiest way to save the most time and have no pencil mark on. And then on that side. And we'll cut that and then we're ready for the next step. Okay, so ready to cut this on the mitre saw now, um, which I've got the Vestal Capex 60, I think this one is, so a slightly smaller one, but pretty good compact size because I have got the table saw as well, so I don't always do bigger cuts on this one. So I'm going to cut this upside down. There's not quite enough space to do it on this side. So I've got the pencil mark here. This festival saw has got a, a light, a shadow light on it, which is quite handy. So I can easily line that up on my pencil mark. Yeah. Can I uh, if it's up to me, please? Okay, so there we go. We've got a mice on each end. We'll now um, off it up, check it fits. Okay, so we're now in the next phase of how I like to do architraves. So obviously we've cut them, they're all ready. Um, I like to just give a quick coat of paint on these actually. So I've given these a very quick, light top coat of the colour and on the edges, just a bit easier to do. Um, and now, what I like to do is glue them first. So I'll glue them with my favorite glue, um, obviously. And this makes sure you get a nice, um, tight mice joint and it's all pre-assembled, ready to go up. So I'm just doing this in the kitchen, so I just need to be a bit careful with the glue. So I've just raised them off the floor with the bits, uh, just a bit of off-cut of MDF that I've got. Um, and then I'm gonna use my Woodpecker Precision Triangle, um, which hopefully a lot of you will have seen in the other video. Um, and so this is the solid one without the shoulder, so it allows me to nicely um, 
make sure that's nice and square. So I'll just basically hold that square as I glue it just to make sure I'm setting it definitely at the right angle. Um, so all those joints look good. Now when I use this glue, I always want to make sure it doesn't spill out the front. So I always just run the bead slightly to the back to avoid squeeze out where you'd see it. Square the other side. Get my square ready. Good. Okay, so that's that side done. So now on to the other side. So exact same process again. So if you do want some added strength to these joints, or generally if you're using this mitre glue, you can also in parallel run a line of PVA glue, which is a lot stronger than this glue. So what this this glue will make it set immediately, when the PVA in the background will be going off over a few hours to make it even stronger. So if you want to make a very strong joint as well, then you can use a combination of PVA glue and this CA glue. Okay, so that's done. Sometimes it does stick to the bottom if it comes out. Now, while this is effectively a very strong super glue, it is surprisingly strong. Well, in the context of I'm wielding quite a big frame, but it can hold itself together. So now, very carefully, the whole frame can now... Now obviously if you accidentally kick this to one side, it would snap off. But in itself, if you keep it straight, it will nicely hold together so that you can assemble and glue it in one piece. A bit of skirting down here so that just nicely goes up against that and then it's going to follow my lines when I set it and glue it on the wall so that looks fine so next step is to glue the back of it so using a different type of glue today because I ran out of the other one I was using this is actually my favorite glue I won't read out what it is I'll just show you what it's called um, it does do what it suggests on the bowl very strong and sticky glue. So I'm going to do two beads on this. One nearer to the face. One by the top. Okay, so we're now glued up. Now we're going to lift it into place. Now, because of the way the skirting is, skirting, I'll show you. Um, I can't actually clamp this from the other side because it's the door frame is tight to the wall and there's a door in the way here. So what we are instead going to do is 
So that's my favorite clamp method. So I can use my clamping method on a square level to get good pressure on it. So that's it. it's nice tight up. So we've got some new clamps for this side. These ones are a bit more heavy duty than these ones. These ones have got a bit of a weakness in that if you put in really extreme pressure, they're telescopic but only on a um, clamping bolt. So this can slide a bit so you don't get super pressure on it. These ones are much more heavy duty, super easy to use. Because um, it's actually got a pump operation so you can... So it's a lot easier, you can also just pull it in place near enough and then you can get the final clamp pressure and then twist it. I'll put a couple of clamps on the top as well. So this will stay clamped in just for a few hours really until this glue goes off. Um, and the reason I do this while it looks like you've gone to great lengths is it means you don't have to faff about with nails, screws into the masonry, filling holes, none of which ever gets quite perfect. Also, these clamps that are also Bessie clamps actually, I've had these a while, very handy because these are both spreaders and you can flip it off, put it back to the other end and it becomes a regular clamp. So very handy to say. Okay, that's it. We'll let that set for a good few hours. So the clamps are down, everything is glued and set, um, and it's looking pretty good. You can see I've already moved on to the next stage. Prog tape is on, I've already corked this joint, ready to paint now. And if you look on the other side here, this has had its final two coats of top coat paint, and it's looking pretty tidy now. If you just zoom in here, you can see how tight I've been able to get that joint. And I did that because I've clamped it, got a nice tight joint, used the tape to cork it, the tape to paint it. I'd already pre-painted the wall, so there's no ugly brush marks that you often get. Um, that's a perfectly rolled wall all the way to the edge. Um, so that's how I get a perfect finish um, for architrave. So let me know what you think of the steps I followed. And if you've got any other ideas, let us know in the comments below. And please subscribe.